This is a patient who came in with a GI bleed. And so we perform this as a GI bleed protocol where we do a non-contrast phase followed by an arterial and more delayed phase. I'm gonna jump straight to the delayed phase and show you some of the findings. We can see almost immediately a large mass in the liver, the right hepatic lobe, um, as well as several other masses in the left hepatic lobe. They're sort of nonspecific, but uh, are concerning for metastases. They don't really look like abscesses. Uh, there's not a lot of um, hyperemia surrounding them, uh, but that would be potentially another consideration. Now, as we scroll down even further, looking for a source of the GI bleed, we can come down to the cecum, and we can see there's very abnormal soft tissue thickening. Right, so there's bowel wall thickening involving the entire cecum. And whereas, you know, you may for a second consider with, could this be inflammatory, it really doesn't look like there's any submucosal edema. All of this looks like soft tissue, and there may be a fleck of cal calcium within this. So that's highly concerning for a cancer. Um, this is corroborated by the presence of adenopathy. Look at this note here, adjacent to the cecum, another one here within the right lower quadrant mesentery. And uh, so this was biopsy. This turned out to be an adenocarcinoma of the cecum with uh, multifocal liver metastases. And finally, uh, it's important to look at all the phases. And if you look at the arterial phase, right in this right lower quadrant, pulmonary artery, we can see that there's a very small, subtle, but definite filling defect. And so this patient also happened to have a uh, pulmonary emboli.